Welcome to the Power Five, where football is hot and baseball is, well, not. Uh, I do have some football for you on today's show, a.k.a. football, a.k.a. soccer. The new Champions League format gets underway Tuesday. Some looks in MLB as well as we try to get back on track on the base pass. 2-2-1 two, two, and one overall on the show yesterday, so we split. Uh, we remain a really strong 77-50-5, though, with all selections here on the Power Five. Smash that like button if you've been enjoying all these free winners here on Wager Talk TV. Also, as a reminder, you can always comment down below with any questions or thoughts on my selections for today. I am starting in the Champions League early with PSV Juventus under two and a half. Yes, Juventus let us down over the weekend, uh, failing to score in a draw with Empoli. However, I'd gladly take another nil-nil draw here. Remember what I talked about on Friday's show. Juventus have faced fewer shots this season than any side in any of Europe's big five leagues. Through the first four matches in Serie A this season, Juve has yet to concede a single goal. Their style of play is now really slow under the new manager. Here in the Champions League, they take on a PSV side that does dominate the Eredivisie, but the Dutch champs should struggle here in the step up in class. So under two and a half it is. It is a two, it is part of me, a 12.45 Eastern start. A second Champions League play for you on Tuesday. Yeah, we're, we're doubling up in soccer here on the show. Feeling a bit frisky. Liverpool, AC Milan, under three. I just cashed an under on Saturday with Liverpool in Premier League action. They conceded a goal for the first time all season, which normally you'd think would have killed my under. But instead, Liverpool didn't score themselves, losing 1-0 to Nottingham Forest. By the way, I'm now on a 10-0-1 run with Premier League bets going back to last season. Back to Liverpool, though, and this fixture with Italian heavyweight AC Milan. At all four Premier League matches involving Liverpool this season have stayed under. I see the same thing here in the Champions League. AC Milan should play a similar style to what we saw from Nottingham Forest over the weekend. This match reeks of ending in a low-scoring draw. Again, under three. This is a 3 p.m. Eastern time start. Okay, that's soccer. Be on the lookout for my top Champions League plays at wagertalk.com by going to wt.buzz slash bp. Should have a two-pack. For Wednesday and Thursday action up later this afternoon, including a 4% best bet. I already mentioned that I'm 10-0-1, my last 11 Premier League bets. Well, I'm also on a 36-18-1 run with all soccer going back to April. That's 67% winners and plus 51 units. Quite the run on the pitch. But enough about that. Now we turn to Major League Baseball on Tuesday. By the way, you can get tonight's best bet in MLB for just $5. Yes, $5 at my page, wt.buzz slash bp. All right, back to the Power Five. Play number three for today is Dodgers Marlins under nine and a half. So the parade of unders continues on today's program. This game starts at 640 Eastern, by the way. Uh, has starting pitcher Bobby Miller been terrible for the Dodgers? Uh, yes, he has. However, uh, we're going to still take the under. I know Miller has an 8.28 ERA his last five starts. The key is Miller is facing a Marlins team that has scored three runs or less in five of its last seven games. Miami has the worst record in the NL, simply playing out the string at this point. Don't expect much offensive firepower from them here tonight. On the flip side, no off day for the Dodgers. They were in Atlanta Monday, so it could be a sluggish game at the plate for them as well. Uh, truth be told, Marlins starter Darren McCacken isn't very good either, but this bet is all about the number, guys. Nine and a half. Just too high of a total for a game involving Miami. Yes, I know about Miami overs at home. But the Marlins are the second lowest scoring team in all of baseball. We shouldn't be seeing nine and a halfs for them. Like the number here, so we go under. Okay, how about an over? And it's in my neck of the woods. I'm taking the over eight and a half in Twins Guardians. This is another 640 Eastern uh, first pitch. Guys, do you know the Guardians have not lost a game in which they led after eight innings in over a year? Tip of the cap. To Emmanuel Classe there, their outstanding closer. Guards came back to win last night's series open a 4-3. I expect more runs, obviously, tonight. That's because we got Zebby Matthews and Gavin Williams starting this game. Matthews hasn't been good lately. 7.97 ERA his last five starts. While Williams has a 5.64 ERA his last five starts. Of course, though, the big key progressive field now being hitter-friendly. Thanks to the physical changes to the ballpark I've discussed before on the Power Five. 
I know it's been a recent run of unders here. Okay, so maybe the books are catching up. But we're a half run below the key number of nine with this total. Minnesota should have scored more in last night's game, but they stranded 10 guys on base. By the way, Matthews, he's allowed a total of six home runs his last three starts for the Twins. That should come back to bite him here. The ball travels out of progressive field. I've been there many times this season. The number of home runs that land in the front row of that right of, in right field, can't count them. I've lost track. So over eight and a half, Twins, Guardians. And we're going to round out the Power Five by going back to another under. Under eight and a half, and A's Cubs tried this bet on yesterday's series opener, and it went poorly. Uh, the Cubs exploded early, scored all nine of their runs across the first four innings. Really frustrating not to cash an under, which Shota Imanaga strikes out 11 and yet another dominant start. But those are the breaks sometimes when you're betting Major League Baseball. Anyway, I think tonight's game will be lower scoring. That's because we should see some strong winds blowing in uh, at Wrigley. I... And uh, I, I'm a, I know there's some concern with Cubs starter Jordan Wicks, but I think the real key here is the Cubs offense, which goes from 5.12 runs per game on the road, that's third most, to just 4.07 runs per game at home, that's 25th. Uh, they'll be facing Mitch Spence, who has allowed two runs or fewer in four consecutive starts. I like both bullpens here as well. So under 8.5 in this 740 Eastern start on the North side of Chicago. Let us now recap the Power Five. I gave you a lot to think about here today, and it was all totals. Okay, we start in the Champions League. A little soccer. PSV, Juventus, under two and a half. That's 12.45 Eastern start. Number two, Liverpool, AC Milan, under three. That's a 3 p.m. start. Moving to baseball, Dodgers, Marlins, under nine and a half. Number four, Twins, Guardians, over eight and a half. And number five, A's, Cubs, under 8.5. Again, you can feel free to let me know what you think of those selections by commenting down below. Let me know your favorite bets that you're making here on Tuesday. Champions League, Major League Baseball. Maybe you've already got something locked and loaded for this weekend in football. I already mentioned my top Major League Baseball bet for Tuesday will be available uh, for only $5 at wt.buzz slash BP. But don't forget about football. I cashed the Falcons last night. Outright winner, baby. Uh, to complete a perfect 4-0 NFL Week 2, I'm now 15-7. and That's 68% with all football, NFL plus college this season. And you can take $100 off the rest of the season. Get every football play I release by u- using coupon code FBALL100. That's F-B-A-L-L-1-0. Get $100 off the rest of the season. Also, it's never too early to start thinking about the NBA That begins next month. Right now, you can lock in for the absolute lowest price you'll get all season. $595 for every NBA pick I release from the opening tip through the NBA Finals. Guys, I finished up 45.28 units last season in the association. It's going to be another big year. So lock in before that first tip. No coupon code needed for that one. All right, that is going to do it for the Tuesday edition of the Power 5. Again, wt.buzz slash bp is your place to go for all of my winners, including that $5 customer appreciation bet in Major League Baseball today. Smash that like button if you're heading over to pick up that $5 bet or if you just like today's show. I always appreciate the support. Also, remember to subscribe to the Wage Talk YouTube channel if you already haven't done that. Not only do I drop the Power 5 daily, But you can't forget about the morning wager with myself and Mark Zinno every Monday through Friday. Until next time, guys, let's cash some tickets.